Hi, I'm Malcolm Street from Caravan Ball Magazine and I'm standing in front of a Coromel Element Evolution Caravan. And it is something of a revolution with some great new design features which start with the chassis. It appears to be full of holes. It's not a new technique. Coromel have basically used C-section steel, a very high tensile material, in conjunction with cross-section members to form a very strong but very lightweight chassis. There are no welds, it's all bolted together. The chassis isn't the only new feature in this caravan. The body structure is a bit of a radical departure for Coromel. Instead of a frame, it's an aluminium composite structure with a very high density insulation. It keeps the caravan both cool in warm weather and warm in cool weather, of course. The other interesting thing about it is there are just three pieces, wall either side and a one piece front wall, roof, rear wall. The whole idea being, of course, to keep water ingress to a minimum. The other little interesting feature about this fan are the windows. They're not acrylic, but automotive quality glass. They're a little bit heavier than the acrylic items, but they're a whole lot harder to scratch, which is very good if you do a fair bit of bush travel. You might notice there's no black alloy checker plate on this van. I know it looks very good, but as soon as you travel on dirt roads, it looks dirty almost instantly. If we've been traveling in this van on dirt roads, you notice it looks reasonably clean sort of designed to protect the lower surfaces and also give the van a bit of a stylish look. In this Evolution Caravan, there are probably not a lot of surprises in the layout. It's a standard sort of front island bed, full width three bathroom arrangement, with of course a cafe dinette and kitchen in the middle. Probably the most interesting feature at this end of the caravan is the amount of storage. You can see there's quite a substantial amount of cupboard space, so full height, and there's another set of cupboards Another little feature I like is that the bed head it has the standard sort of overhead locker side wardrobe arrangement, but by the side of each pillow there's a little compartment where you can store all the goodies you need at night time. And there's also a power point and a 12 volt charger for charging all those, you know, your phone and iPad and all those other essentials. It's a nice practical little setup. Just like the body structure, the cabinetry in this van has been designed to be almost an integral part of the body. Just as an example, these overhead lockers, you can actually swing around and they don't move. You can see the way they're structured, they're applied to give proper support and you even get in a few places an extra shelf, a really useful feature. In the bathroom here, there's actually plenty of room. On my left here, there's a really good sized shower cubicle, plenty of room to turn around, and a decent sort of plumbing setup. We don't often talk about sliding doors in caravans, but I reckon this one is a cut above the average. It's quite a strong door, but it's also fairly light, and the fittings for the sliding unit are definitely a cut above those you might normally find in most caravans. Like many a caravan, this bathroom has a washing machine. It's a little different to the usual though, instead of being tucked away in a cupboard, it has a really handy slide out shelf. In addition, you have a little shelf for putting your laundry basket when you load and unload the machine. This particular Coromel Element Evolution van is not an off-road model, it's certainly not designed that way, but the suspension system has been designed to cope with a number of situations. And as you can see out the window here, you can get to some really spectacular places without too much trouble at all. I'm actually sitting in one of the prototype models, and to be fair, there are a few rough edges, but overall, this van is looking very good. There's certainly some new design ideas, which I would say the industry can learn from, and I'm looking forward to some of the future models that I know are on the way. 